What exactly is or isn't a bad movie is up to you. For example, I like Hot Tub Time Machine, but you might watch it and go, that is utter sh**. It makes the world go round. Different opinions, different thoughts, different people. And isn't that lovely? The same goes for actors as well. You may watch an actor in a film and think, wow, they were fantastic. Whereas I would look at them and go, that was a garbage. With all that said, there are some performances which I think we can all agree on are absolutely rubbish. Even if you do get a kick out of them. What's worse than this is when you notice the same actors keep popping up in these terrible roles. And then a light bulb goes off in your head where you realize there's a good chance that they've never starred in something where they could be considered good. Yet they keep getting work, and that makes no sense. Now I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is eight famous actors who have literally never been good in a movie. Number eight, Ashton Kutcher. This seems unfair at first, but really have a think about the movies Ashton Kutcher has been in and his performances. From Dude Where's My Car to Jobs, which was the Steve Jobs biopic, to the butterfly effect to a bunch of rom-coms that aren't really top viewing, there's not really that many Ashton-related movies where he shines. And just go read some of the reviews about how people see him in these. Sheesh, that is brutal. He's done very well for himself though, so I assume he's pretty happy. He's also a worldwide star. I don't think he cares about any of this to be honest. Oh well. Number 7. Taylor Lautner Taylor Lautner is already in a poor position right out of the gates because he was in the Twilight series. Now, I've never seen those films, but I know they're about sad vampires who just want to be liked. So instantly I'm out. I am not watching that. But along with that nonsense, Taylor has also popped up in Grown Ups 2, Tracers, The Ridiculous Six, and Run the Tide. And he's not been good at any of them. And most of those movies sucked. Then there's Valentine's Day and Cheaper by the Dozen 2. And guess what? He sucks in them as well. At only 24 years old, he has plenty of time to sort this out. But at the moment, it is not looking good for Taylor. Having abs, surprisingly, this isn't enough. Number 6. 50 Cent I'm sure 50 Cent would want to buy here given he's a rapper first, but the real life Curtis Jackson has been in enough movies that we're allowed to critique him, and wouldn't you know it, they're all awful and he's not much better in them either. This shouldn't be too much of a shock given the circumstances, but the fact he once played himself, well, you think you could get that down. How can you not be good at playing yourself? Just be yourself. I do respect Fiddy though, because he's dedicated to his craft. Dropping more than £50 to play the role as a football player battling cancer and things fall apart, he has tried to get better, and you can't fault that. I thought anyway, but the movie flopped and critics absolutely laid into it. So apparently you can fault it, and you can fault it hard. Number 5. Chris Klein If we're to go on the roles Chris Klein has had so far, it seems likely he got them thanks to his looks and massive smile. This is fine if your movie isn't serious, but unfortunately some casting directors haven't realised this and Chris has been thrown in at the deep end. When that happens, man, it is not good. Klein can seemingly only play that guy from American Pie, and that can be awfully jarring if that's not the theme of your film. In fact, it actually breaks everything. Was it right down into the toilet? Then, of course, there was Rollerball. Now, that does have a redeemable feature, namely that pro wrestling legend Paul Heyman has a cameo in it. But Klein is terrible throughout, and the movie is terrible, and everything is terrible, and to be honest, Chris Klein has been terrible in everything. Number 4. Megan Fox Whether you think Megan Fox can act or not, she is a box office draw and has been in some huge films. Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have made millions of dollars and she's part of the reason for that. Unfortunately, they are also both rubbish and she wasn't good in them either. I mean, you can enjoy them and I get a small kick out of the Turtles franchise. They're not winning any Oscars anytime soon and neither is she. Then there's the likes of This Is 40 and How To Lose Friends and Alienate People and she treads water in those well enough. But it's not like Megan made these roles her own. She was kind of just there. Ultimately, she just hasn't been good in a movie yet. But we'll keep waiting, and then she'll just turn up in whatever old cartoon Michael Bay wants to bring back next. Number 3. Jared Padalecki Jared Padalecki was fine in Warner Brothers TV show Supernatural. That's not what we're saying here. He did a good job and made a name for himself, and that's not easy. So he deserves all the credit in the world. What is not so hot is when he makes a rare venture into a film. Be it small parts, a la Flight of the Phoenix, or a bigger challenge, such as the Friday the 13th remake, Padalecki is worse than if a mop was involved. Seriously, you could put a mop in his place, and I don't think many people people would notice the switch had even been made. For some reason, the world of movies just seems too much for him. If he could transfer that TV magic to the big screen, then fine. So far, not so good. Number 2. Jennifer Love Hewitt Given that every movie in the 90s featured Jennifer Love Hewitt, you'd think she'd be good in at least one of them. They're all varied too, ranging from teen comedies to slasher flicks, giving her plenty of opportunity to find her niche and then exploit that. There's every chance you may have enjoyed her in one of these, but if we do that thing the internet loves to do, e.g. look her films up on movie critic website Rotten Tomatoes, it's a telling sign that not one of Hewitt's movies has achieved more than a 53% rating. She's also been deemed the worst reviewed actress since 1984. 
25. That is not great. Again, though, she's been kicking ass in Hollywood for years, so she's doing something right. Acting just isn't one of those things. Number one, Daniel Baldwin. It must suck to be a Baldwin. Well, unless you're Alec. Everyone knows him, but the rest are all interchangeable. They're like dominoes. The worst of the bunch in terms of performances has got to be Daniel Baldwin, though. I mean, Billy has Backdraft, where he's pretty good. Steven has The Usual Suspects, where he's very good. Daniel has been in over 100 movies and hasn't done anything of note in any of them. You probably didn't even know Daniel Baldwin was a thing, or that he had movies on his CV. There's a reason for that, because no one talks about them because there's nothing to say. Know of any other actors who have literally never been good in a movie? Let us know in the comments below and then over to like, share and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter at SimonMiller316. I'm Simon from What Culture, and I will chat to you again soon.